This video was made by Muhammad Amin Ganjabi and narrated by Nilu Faris Kandai from Hyperd Lyceum team. This is the second part of the video for raising simulation in SimuFact. As previously discussed, robots are features for welding simulation, which we need to define them in the model. They include four items such as materials, temperatures, trajectories, and welding parameters. The weld bead for the robot can be generated or assigned from external imported mesh. The geometries and mesh of the filler have been generated and can be imported by following this process. Right-click on geometries in the object catalog filler. Click on import and select the file filler millimeter BDF. Open it and change the unit from meter to millimeter and select OK. Trajectories are paths that can be used for weld beads. Right click on sets in the object catalog and select on the new node set. First, we click on node number 3 on one side, then node number 271 on the other side as they are at the same height. Then we click on create a new node set and select apply. We define the node set for the trajectory and the filler. Then click on OK. Click on the node set, then drag the node set into the robot section on the left panel. To create a new welding parameter object, Right click on the welding parameter in the object catalog, then select new heat source parameters. In the new window, the user can input the necessary data. Select welding parameters, go through the movement section, change the velocity meter from meter per second to millimeter per second and the velocity from 0 to 50.0 mm per second. In specifications, change the mode from indirect to transient direct power. In the power section, change the power value to 3000 watts and in the energy per length section, change the efficiency to 1. The parameter dimension of the heat source is selected to match the real heat geometry in the welding process, which can be measured from a micrographic test using an experiment. Now move to the heat source and choose laser for geometrical type. All evaluating measures checked as meter must be changed to millimeter. For the conical heat source upper radius, change it to 2 and for the conical heat source depth, change it to 2.1. The Gaussian parameter is 2 and the volume heat fraction is 1. In the surface heat source section, the disk radius, surface heat source depth and Gaussian parameter are 2.7, 0 0.1, and 2 respectively. Now drag and drop heat source and filler millimeter to the note set on the left side of the screen. Now the missing trajectory and the welding parameters have been defined and can be assigned to the robot. Please double click on the robot and the configuration window will open. On the menu, you can see times, trajectories, and fillet generation. Select trajectories and left click on orientation. Then please change the orientation to the global Z axis. Select OK. Now kindly double-click on the solver item to set up the process. 
select parallelization, check it and through domain decomposition, change the number of domains to 4. Next is time control. Select it and through analysis and time, change the time to 30 seconds. Under the result output every nth increment part, change both welding and cooling to 1, showing we save data every 1 increment. Next part is refinement. Check the box for the robot refinement option and set the value of 1 for these two, then select OK. Now we have finalized the brazing simulation. To execute the model, click on the green arrow at the bottom of the process window and finally click on Start Analysis. Thank you for watching. This video was made by Amin Ganjabi. To find his contact information and updated resume, please visit our website at hyperlyceum.com. Amin is an expert in Simufact, Caesar, PDMS, and some other engineering software. To plan an online session and discuss industrial and academic projects, please use the provided email address under Amin's profile. The costs of projects vary depending on the complexity of the work and can be discussed in advance. We are looking forward to working with you.